So here's my VR headset that we're going to use. If we have time, I can also turn on the um, Android version as well that you can use Google Cardboard with. Let's load up um, Easy Builder and make sure that we have all the plugins and everything that we need installed to start what we're going to do. Um, let's take a look. So, project add get plugins. And the plugin that we want is going to be under virtual reality and virtual reality robot. This is the one. And then click install. And it'll download it. So, this is 17 megs, it looks like. And then click on it, and it'll install. There we go. And now we can go project, add, and we want a, a robot camera, so we're going to get one of those. Okay, and then we want some virtual reality here. Virtual reality, click, get click. There it is. Okay, so. Um, I think the easiest thing for us just to demo is to get a, just use the camera on my laptop. So let's just use integrated camera. Okay, so this will just, we're just adding a camera just so that we can um, view something inside the HR, the VR headset, but we don't actually have it hooked up to a robot, right? It's just hooked up to the inside of this. So let's start by clicking. So on the on the app here, you can see there's a start VR client. Because we're not running a Google Chrome, uh, Google Cardboard or anything else, if we were like running it on our phone, we wouldn't start the VR client because the VR client would be on the, uh, the device. So we can click the configuration button here and you can see that we have different options, pause servos when robot is moving, launch VR and full client. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to add any servos. We're just going to click um, attached camera. So it's attached, because it says so. It says attached, <laughs> detached. And then we'll click this start VR client. There it is. Okay, so this is the VR client here. You'll see in this box that there's a, so we're going to make it bigger for you. There you go. You can see in the box there's an IP address. That's going to be the IP address of your local computer. And 127.0.0.1, that's always your local host. If you were running this particular program on like a computer that was someplace else or over the internet, you could type in that IP address. Okay, so you'd actually be able to use this over the internet if you wanted uh, just by typing a different IP address in here. So we'll push the robot view button. And now, when I put the headset on, so that's what I see inside the headset right now, when I go like this. Okay. You can see that Steam VR is running and it's got it. Now I can adjust these values with the mouse. This is the depth and this is the brightness. Um, you're gonna probably wanna play with these based upon your condition of lighting conditions. But your depth is interesting for your eyes because you, you might get like a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's like this peripheral vision around, okay? So you can't see the whole image on here, but I can when I wear the headset. You put this up like this. Can you see what's inside? That's what, that's, that's what you see inside the, uh, the headset. That's cool. Okay, now you see we move the headset around uh, the image isn't moving, right? Now, if I were to back out of this, hit the back button, and now click on cube view, now you can see what I would be seeing in the headset. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm looking around, I'm looking at this cube. So, <laughs> this is so wild. Okay, so what we're going to do now is let's set it up so that it's using... Um, one of the cameras on a robot. Okay, so we can close all this down. We can detach. We can click this close VR client button here, which will close the VR client, obviously. 
And then we can click the detach button from the camera. And I will entirely close down this. Cool. Okay, so I guess the next thing to do is get a robot. He's he's gonna be a lot of, a lot of fun um, because we get to drive him around the office with the headset on. That's gonna be super cool. Let's load. Let's see, a Rolly project here. Um, easy robot. Rolly, where are you? Rolly Bear, that's fine with me. Okay, um, let's connect to it. Sweet. Okay, so now we need a camera for this robot. We'll add camera, camera device. Connect to it. Sweet. Now we want to connect to, here we can close these down, we don't need it. Virtual reality, let's add the virtual reality part. Okay, we're gonna attach the camera. And then we're going to uh, start the VR client here. And then I'm going to um, configure this thing. So, looking back and forth, there's only one servo for that. Here we go, neck vertical, D9. That's easy. And now let's adjust it's D9. So we can make it look up. Make it look up real high. That's cool. And make it look down. Nice, we can make it look down pretty far too. And let's look at its left and right. What was that one? Neck horizontal, D10. And the other direction. about good and I'm thinking what's gonna end up happening is um, this is just a guess so I think that's gonna need to be inverted let's find out so I click on the robot view button here and wait for the image to load and I will click on activate servos and let's see so up oops up Oh no, up and down seem to be perfect. How about left and right? Okay, left and right seem to be reversed. Okay, we'll jump back into here and let's mod let's change our left and right. Let's invert it. Um, this button right here. Okay. So um, we should be able to drive the robot. Let's make sure that part's working. It is. And we got full speed here. Okay. We're going on a trip and I'm going to wear this VR headset the whole time we do it. All right, let's go explore. Our router's up there someplace, up in the lights. And the 3D printers. There's a bucket there where we keep our buckets. Awesome. You know what we could do too? We don't actually have to use this headset. You can use your phone. So if you guys have like an Android phone, you can be doing virtual reality and doing what I'm doing right now. So let me show you how you do that. Um, I'm gonna make this smaller so you can see the screen again. Okay, so I'm going to back out of here. Then I'm gonna close the VR client, this thing. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so let's grab a phone. We had this Android phone that we were using earlier. So any Google Cardboard compatible headset will work with this. You can get the app in the Google Play App Store as well. So if you click on the question box on the virtuality control, the virtuality robot control, you can scroll down and you'll see here where it talks about Google Cardboard. 
you can click on it. And you can install it on your device. So if you have an Android phone, just go right ahead. And there you go. So back to the device. I have it installed already. And here it is. There it is. So what I can do is I can type in the IP address of the computer and make sure I'm on the same network. So this device has to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as my computer, okay? So let's look at the computer for a second and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. There's an IP address that's right here. See, 192.168.0.118. That's the IP address that this server, this thing that we're, we're running here, that's what it's listening to, okay? So, when it knows this IP address, your computer has this IP address, um, that's what this device, this little control, is listening to for a connection. So we'll type that IP address in here. 192.168.1.118. 0 0.118. 0 0.118. Click OK. So now we can push the robot view button. There we go. And as you can see here, we're controlling the robot. Cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, that's not right. Not sure why it's so, let's drive the robot around a little bit and let's go exploring. Oh no! Oh, so great. So that's how you connect your phone to be virtual uh, virtuality headset for your robot.